Direct from Austin, coast to coast, and in your face, you're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. We're going to be going the whole nine yards today, ladies and gentlemen. It is the 6th day of September 2009 on this Sunday edition. We have the founder and head of Architects and Engineers for 911 Truth, Richard Gage, joining us in the second hour today to respond to the extremely shoddy piece uh, trying to demonize 911 Truth and those questioning government-sponsored terrorism uh, that uh, was actually funded by a foreign country. That's who uh, produced it and funded it for the National Geographic Channel. We're going to play some clips from the show and debunk the debunkers in the second hour today with Richard Gage. Look forward to having him on the show with us. This ties in with Van Jones, the White House green job czar, resigning last night for supposedly signing a 2004 petition to reopen the investigation of 9-11. Now, seven members of the 10-member commission have said that. But this is a little-known secret. And so that's just a standard leftist or Democratic position because they thought it would burn George Bush. I'm apolitical. I go where the truth is. I'm exposing Barack Obama. I'm exposing George Bush. The facts are the media want to make this a left-right issue about 9-11 truth when it isn't. I am the founder of 9-11 truth. I'm the first person to talk about 9-11, the attack on the World Trade Center. Talked about it months and months before it happened. Said they were probably going to blow up the towers and blame it on their CIA asset, Osama bin Laden. So if anybody can speak today for 9-11 truth, it's me. A dangerous position, but I'm happy to take it because if we don't expose government-sponsored terrorism, the establishment with 9-11 and 7-7 and many other events are going to continue to stage events and use that as a pretext to clamp down and take the liberties of the general public. As the Club of Rome has said, as many other government documents have stated, Council on Foreign Relations documents, Pentagon documents, Operation Northwoods, Army Field Manuals, they're all declassified, explaining why the government stages terror attacks or provocateurs' attacks or funds criminal groups to carry out attacks and then burns a patsy or two. There's different variants of this. A real terror attack not funded by the people being attacked is extremely rare. They do exist, though you could count them on one hand that we know of. Because whoever's being attacked gets to play the part of the victim and gets to strike back out. So how do you start preemptive wars? You have a self-inflicted wound. How many college students have been caught painting swastikas on their dorms or sending inward emails to themselves? How many synagogues have been caught painting swastikas on their buildings to get sympathy and funding? In every case... That we know of, this is what's happening. This is what's developing. This is what's unfolding. That's another form of false flag terror attack. So we're going to break that down today and a bunch of other big issues coming up after this break. But I'm going to get into Van Jones, why he really had to resign. They're just trying to tag 9-11 Truth onto it. Huge, gigantic, the biggest Flu development, the biggest developments in flu news uh, in the last eight, nine months. We've been warning you this is upcoming. And coming up Tuesday, folks, the biggest news story we've ever broken. So I just want to foreshadow that a little bit for you. The biggest initiative we've ever launched. Very, very exciting. That's coming up in 48 hours or less than 48 hours. I'm Alex Jones. Infowars.com is the website. Stay with us. The good old folks at New Silver Solution. And the website is supernaturalsilver.com. Supernaturalsilver.com. 
Uh, this is something that kills bacteria, viruses, you name it. Well documented. They've got it down to a super small nano-sized particle. Supernaturalsilver.com. Check them out at Infowars.com. Supernaturalsilver.com. Very important radio broadcast lined up for you today on this Sunday, the sixth day of September 2009. we got two hours laying out before us. I do this abbreviated transmission every Sunday, 4 to 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. That's 5 to 7 p.m. Eastern. And, of course, uh, 3 to 5 Mountain, 2 to 4 Pacific. Thank you so much for joining us today. Okay, let me tell you what's on our plate. It's going to be fast-moving, very important radio show today. So please call your friends and family, whether you're listening on AM, FM, shortwave, satellite, Internet, you name it. Please tell your friends and family to tune in now. Coming up, the most important developments in the last nine months that we've been tracking this government-run flu hoax. Remember, long before April, I went on air in January, in February, especially on March 5th, did four hours on my weekday show saying they're going to stage some type of flu event. I had emergency managers on the show, journalists on the show. I mean, we had the intel. We told you then in April we were really at level six. Four months later, the media admitted, okay, we were really at level six already under U.N. control. So, so you need to listen to us. When we break this down, the information we're about to cover, we know what we're talking about. This is directly from the World Health Organization, hidden in plain view. This came out Friday evening. This came out in plain view, and this is even being mentioned in the mainstream media, but as minor footnotes like it's no big deal. Now, if you're a PrisonPlanet.tv member, we also simulcast the radio show as a slash TV show. And if you're not a PrisonPlanet.tv member and don't watch the show live, don't worry. It always gets ripped to the four winds uh, all over the Internet, which we love. I want to thank all the folks out there doing that, but especially the PrisonPlanet.tv members. Because it's one thing for people to hear this on the radio and not go to Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com where we post Everything we talk about on the radio show every day so you can read along with us. Even if you're not a PrisonPlanet.tv viewer, you can go to the site and read all these documents. But for people watching, they get to see the documents. So here is the World Health Organization document. Right here, ladies and gentlemen. And we're going to be going over this. It is Safety of Pandemic Vaccines, Pandemic H1N1 2009, Briefing Note 6. And this came out way back August 6th. It took us about 27, 28 days to find this. Again, and it's listeners that pointed this out. It's people that found this information. Just like in the healthcare bill, there's an implantable microchip section. Jason Berman showed me that two weeks ago in the office, and I kind of rolled my eyes and forgot about it. And then it's mainstream ABC News last week. The point is, don't think we're noticing and seeing all this. It's you giving us the tips that allow us to ferret this out. What am I talking about? What is this new United Nations document? Who admits to releasing pandemic viruses into population via mock-up viruses? Now, remember back in April having different medical doctors on, Tin Penny and a bunch of other people. Quite frankly, I can't even remember which one it was that said it, but they said there's a good chance, was it Steve Quayle, I forget, that this is a simulant weakened virus they've released and that they're tracking the spread of it and that the government is doing this to, quote, give people an immunity to a weaponized swine flu down the road that was kind of the angle being put out by people that were trying to be devil's advocate because clearly this is the key the flu virus the h1n1 part human part pig part bird was clearly manufactured in the lab i mean that's been admitted in the bbc and reuters and top virologists are on record so then why were they hyping it up and freaking out like it was the end of the world in April? Why have they been making secret preparations in January and February for mass graves, crematoriums, martial law, homeland security, brigade, homeland? Now they want 400,000 troops on the streets of America. 
The Hill newspaper and the Progressive are both reporting. In fact, here's that article on the 400,000 troops. Got that for people. Pentagon wants authority to post almost 400,000 military personnel in the U.S. That's the, from the Progressive. Why, why did we see all this big preparation for something that hadn't even showed up yet? Then exactly what they said was going to show up shows up. The virologists look at it under electron microscopes and say, this was made in a lab. But then we notice it's not killing that many people. And then pe folks noticed in the patents issued by several big vaccine makers, they mentioned virus simulants or weakened viruses. And then now the WHO is saying these were released. And they just make this announcement like they're talking about the price of gasoline or the price of milk or the price of...